Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can upload your Unreal Engine projects online and play them from your web browser. So all you need to do is have an internet connection and you'll be able to play your Unreal Engine project online, just like the project being shown on the screen right now. Now, why would you even want to do this? Imagine you create an awesome game or Unreal Engine project. Not everyone has access to a powerful gaming PC to experience it in all its glory. By hosting your projects online using pixel streaming, you can reach a wider audience regardless of their hardware setup. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Arcware. This video is sponsored by them and we'll be using their platform to host our Unreal Engine pixel streaming projects. You can get started with them for completely free. With that said, let's get started. Hello, so I'm in my Unreal Engine project, which I want to upload so that I can play it online. This is the Stack Obot project. So this is one of the free Unreal Engine game projects, which you can basically download. And let's go over how we basically make it so we can upload this and play it online. So the first thing we want to do is just go over to edit, then to project settings, scroll down and just look for general settings. And they recommend that we go over to frame rate and just click use fixed frame rate and have a frame rate between 30 and 35. This just helps make it smoother. So I'm just gonna leave mine at 30. And then we want to enable the pixel streaming plugin. So if we just go over to edit plugins, then in the search, let's look for pixel streaming. And we want this one, pixel streaming. Just check it, then restart your Unreal Engine project. And then one important tip we want to do is you just wanna go over to edit project settings again and this time to maps and modes and you want to go over to your game default map and make sure this is the level you want to start your game in so mine is set to main menu which i'm happy with so just change this to the map which you want to start your project in and once you're happy with this we can export our project so if we just go over to platforms select windows and then they recommend that you select shipping and then we just want to go package project select where on your PC you want to package your project. So I'm just going to export my project to my desktop. Okay, so my project has exported. It's in this Windows folder. And to just make sure that the pixel streaming plugin was enabled, if you go over to Stackobot, then go over to samples, you should have a folder called pixel streaming. Just make sure that this is there. Okay, once you've done this, you next want to just zip up this project. So I'm just going to right click on it and go compress to zip file. Okay, so my project has finished zipping. It's in this Windows 3 zip file. Next, we wanna head over to artware.com. There'll be a link to it in the description of the video. This is the site which we're gonna be using to stream our Unreal Engine projects. We just wanna head over to the login section. And if you don't already have an account, just click create an account. You can use Artware to picture stream your Unreal Engine projects for completely free. So I'm just gonna log into my account. Okay, once you've done this, you just want to go over to your dashboard and go over to projects. And then you're going to probably need to create a new project. I've already created one. So just click this button, create a new project. And if I just go inside it, this is where we can upload our projects for picture streaming. We first want to go over to the packages section and just click it. And then select here and will ask us which project we want to upload. And I'm just going to set my Windows 3. This is the Stackobot project that I have zipped up. And it's going to do its thing and start to upload this project. Okay, once your project has finished uploading, it should begin to scan your project to make sure that it's compatible with Arcware Cloud. I think from Unreal Engine version 4.7 to 5.3 are compatible. We can see the project here, so it's the Windows 3 zip. I already um, uploaded another product earlier. That was this Windows 2 zip. So right now it's just scanning it and uploading it. And then when it's finished, I should be able to play it online. Okay, so my project has finished uploading. Once it has, you should see this ready to release. We just wanna click this um, spaceship icon. Click, would you like to release your project? Just go confirm. Okay, once your project has finished uploading, it should have active status. If you just go back to your projects and go to the settings, here we can configure the settings for our project so we can customize the display width. I'm just gonna leave mine at the default. And we can also go over to the stream. Right now we can have a maximum of two people running the stream at the same time. 
and then you also just want to enable this so right now um mine is enabled although i think it starts off disabled so just make sure you um click this button to make sure your project is enabled so i'm just going to enable it again make sure yours is enabled and then once you've done that just go back to your projects and then click this preview and we'll be able to play our unreal engine project completely online And to easily share your project with other people, we can just go over to our dashboard, then go over to share ID. We can create a new share ID. I've already created one, but to create one, it's easy. We can just click this button. It will ask us what you want to call your share ID. I called mine robot project, so I'll just call this robot project one. For the start time, I'll make it immediate. I'll make it so this doesn't expire. And I'll make it so they can access this five times. And the project, I'm just going to select my project one. I'll go create new share id and i can just click this link it'll copy it then i can just share this with anyone and they'll be able to play my unreal engine project on the web browser that's all for this video remember to check out arcware if you want to enable pixel streaming on your unreal engine projects if you'd like to learn more about arcware cloud please leave a comment below let me know which specific parts you're interested in thanks for watching